Duncan comes way outside with Wallace on him and then puts it up off the glass. Basket of the game, Duncan. Well, what I like to see there on that screen. And he gets it back. Robert Ory has come into the game for the first time. And underneath is Duncan to put it back in. 2000 to coach just about killed to get a straight out of there. And the block and Barry comes back the other way. Now they'll go Ben Wallace on Ori, but then great block by Duncan. And Ori responds at the other end. Curry and it's Duncan. Five on the shot clock. Spins underneath and it's swatted away by Ben Wallace again. One game for everything. 4.08 to play in the opening quarter. Detroit 12, San Antonio 12, the NBA Finals, Game 7 on ABC. Challenging, and fourth, tried to put a pressure on the shot. Here's Ori. Oh, boy. yes, the three. Detroit gets it. Oh, bad pass. And they throw it away, and it's Barry, and it's knocked away as Hamilton saves the basket. They couldn't save the ball. Seconds to play, San Antonio will have it. Now, this is just a sensational play by Hamilton right there. Not only that, but how about this? Either the number one or number two scorer for their team. Near turnover, but Duncan saves it and scores. Prince behind his back. Waits to set up, has a three opportunity, and cashes in. Who got hot in the first quarter? Parker from the corner. Tony Parker. That's by Dillon. Pistons by two. Duncan to tie it up. Getting good looks. Duncan whips it out to Parker, and he passes up the three, but Barry will launch and hit. Wallace, Ben Wallace. Al, you're absolutely right. The threes, but Ginobili and Parker only have seven points between up. Ten points between them. Yes. Four out of five for the Spurs tonight. One out of seven are the Pistons. Pretty from three-point land, and Ben Wallace gets three inside to top. And then he lays it off underneath, and Big Ben is getting free for the... Uh, I'm not really frustrated as long as we continue to stay in the game. As long as we give ourselves a, a chance to win the game, you know, we'll take it right here. If you're Coach Larry Brown, what do you tell your team with 24 minutes left in this season? Um, just stay solid, you know, do what you do. 39 and the San Antonio Spurs, 38 at the half. After the break, Mike Tirico, Bill Walton, Greg Anthony, and the Verizon Wireless Halftime Report, the NBA Finals on ABC. By Ben Wallace, but knocked that right to his man. Oh, and what a nice pass by him as well on the other end, and Popovich causes serious trouble. And Rashid Wallace with a little spurt here. 8:45 remaining in the third quarter, and Detroit has stretched its advantage to five in Game Seven. Here's Duncan inside. 
gets it back, puts it in, and gets fouled. And San Antonio won this game. Not there, right here. This is where Duncan was a monster. In he and Ori each have 10 to lead the Spurs. It's an adventure, but how? How many? Clean block. I can only tell you the block, the block shots at each end. Ginobili. Seven straight points. And foul, so he comes out. And you got McDice and Rasheed Wallace pretty much sharing a front court spot as a power forward right now. Tim Duncan, their leading scorer. Duncan, this time he's got Prince on him. And Duncan puts it in and gets fouled. Small unit can defend, but right there, Prince had to pick up Duncan, and as soon as San Antonio saw it, From the line tonight. Got the bounce, three points. Is he doing a job? Duncan now. Tim Duncan banks one home. 53 all. That ball is fighting Duncan. Ginobili drives all the way in to score. It was around Ben Wallace who came in. And Duncan gets free and off the glass. Yeah, that can't happen. Not even a kick out. Phillips to Prince. There it is. They work it into the corner. From oh, the corner, wow. Hunter drops it in. With .7, that's a long Look two. Out. And a steal, and the shot doesn't go at the end. But Hunter in game seven, final shot of the period. Tied at the end of three. This presentation of the NBA Finals on ABC continues after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Close to post it up, Parker. Duncan with a dunk. In the corner here, a beautiful feed. Duncan seals off Ben Wallace. And there's Dad. Dad. Manu starts in, uh, all the way in. That was so clever. Ginobili with the dunk. Now watch the hesitation, and then as soon as that defender gave him an alley, he's taking it. He's one of the toughest guys, because sometimes he'll continue two bounces because he might want to take a jump shot. But when that alley opens, he explodes. Eight and a half left. Ori from the corner. It's three. Some rebounding. That's his fifth of this game. Now Bowen from outside, and Bruce Bowen, who's been pretty quiet, from this is 13-3 during this final set. Now, once Duncan saw that double team, that ball was going out to Bowen. We told you all night Bowen will be open. His prints on on Timmy Duncan. And you also have two on the shot clock. And from the corner, it's Duncan. Duncan. Puts it on the floor. Lays it off to Ginobili. With two on the clock. Huge. The game for San Antonio. Now, this is just good basketball savvy. Ginobili takes the double team, kicks to Duncan, and now takes the double team and then makes that diagonal pass. Once again, Ginobili, that is his 12th three throughout this series. San Antonio, 72, Detroit, 65. Another huge possession, and Phillips with a pull up to drop it in to make it a four point game. Tim Duncan. Trying to increase a four-point lead with 62 seconds to play. There you go. Chauncey Billups, and he has it blocked way outside by Bowen. Now that's a block. Under 40 to play. Ginobili. And that's going to make it a three-possession game. Into the corner. Wallace bangs it home. Rasheed Wallace, 75 70 to the foul line for you. Keep an eye on Bowen. See, he times this perfectly. He has a major height advantage on Billups. And at this end, 
the alley opened up, and this is the wrong guy because when Ginobili sees that, he's going. It's a big time pressure shot by Rashid. Now, going. Manu Ginobili makes the first, and the Spurs will be anyway, but you get the idea. Six point lead. Career free throw shooter. Oh, Ori and Barry have really been. He has 21 points here, very quietly, Al, with the five rebounds and the four assists. He's done an excellent job, especially in the second half, to back up Duncan's production. And Ori has 15 points, and then Hamilton will go in and get fouled. So the game. Big thing now, get out. Do not assume that there'll be uh, any kind of a timeout. Send him off the clock. That was the. Fourth foul on Parker. Those were Hamilton's Look out first long. points of the period. The ball is thrown all the way down court, and Ginobili will pass up what would have been a layup to run out some of the clock. Was of mind to run around a little bit, take a couple of more seconds off. He knows he's going to go to the free throw line. He's going to make it a three possession game at 80 to 74. It is 81 to 74. And the San Antonio Spurs. With tough, tough, tough defense. And Tim Duncan answering a lot of questions and erasing any doubt about coming up big when you have to come up big. And for the third time in seven seasons, the San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Struggling with his shot, but then when they needed it in the third quarter and the fourth quarter, he shot the high percentage, the rebounding was there, the shot blocking, and then his decisions on the double team. He made the right choices, and they followed it up by making the long threes. And the Spurs, a team a lot of people thought would him started to play really aggressive, uh, and they started to draw a double team. Thank you. I already started double team. I'm going to go and get the get job done. These two teams were so closely matched. I mean, you guys, especially the last few games. The score. Popovich has just won his third NBA title. He becomes one of five coaches to win three or more. The Larry O'Brien Trophy to be presented in the MVP award when we come back to San Antonio. This is in the shot clock era. Back we come to San Antonio after this.